Hi, I'm Erica Gamma with InDesign Secrets, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create indicators that let your readers know where a story continues to and continues from. On this spread, I have a story, and we can see that it starts on the left on page 8 and continues on the right on page 9. Now, with them being side by side in a spread, I probably wouldn't need these indicators. I just have them on the same spread to make it easier to show you. The first thing I'm going to do is come to the end of that story on the first page and grab my type tool and create a text frame. And in here, I'm going to type continued on page space. And we're going to use an automatic page numbering here in a second. But the first thing I want to do is switch my paragraph style to my continued on style. And now I want to tell it which page it's continued on. So I'm going to go up to the type menu and come down to insert special character, markers, next page number. Now, if you notice, we're on page 8, and it says continued on page 8. That's not the next page number. Well, right now, it doesn't know what the next page number is. It's not telling you the next page number in the document, but rather the next page number where that story continues. We'll fix that in a second. I'm going to go to the second part of the story and do the same thing. We're going to draw out a text frame, continued from page, and go over to my paragraph styles and choose from page style. And I'm going to do the same thing, type, insert special character, markers, previous page number. And again, it puts the same page number it's on. Now we need to tell it which story this is connected to. I'm going to go ahead and grab my selection tool and select that text frame. And I'm just going to use my arrow keys to move this down until those two frames touch each other. And as soon as they do, you saw the page number change. It now knows which story you're referencing, and it knows which page the beginning part of this story lives on. In this case, it's page 8. Now I can adjust that text frame to where it's sitting where I want. I'm going to zoom back out and back in down here. We need to fix this one as well. So I'm going to select that text frame, use my arrow keys to move it up until it changes to 9. But if you notice, the text is a little close to each other. That's not great. So I'm going to open up the text frame options, Command or Control B. And there's a couple different ways we can fix this. Make sure your preview is turned on. And the first thing we can try is to change the inset spacing. I'm going to give it a little bit of extra space at the top. And as soon as I do that, it reverts back to page 8. It's because that inset spacing pushed it off of that frame, and it loses that connection with the frame. So we'll turn that back off. The next thing we can try is the alignment. I can set that to center, and that works great. I can just make the text frame shorter. But that might also not work for your purposes. So I'll put that back to top. And one of the last things we can do is we can put in the baseline options, and we just change that to something like letting. Then we can control how close it sits by changing the letting. And now we can see that the story continues on page 9 and continues from page 8. Now, like I said, on this single spread, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So let's move this. First thing I'm going to do is shorten this frame up a little bit. I'm going to grab both of these. And I can group them if I want so that they don't lose track of each other. Now I'm going to move this story down. We're just going to send it down to the next spread. And we'll drop it in here. And it still says continued from page 8. But if I jump back to page 8, and I look, I can see that the continued on page changed to 11 when that got moved. So that's the easy way to create indicators of where your story continues to and continues from without you having to manually change those page numbers. Well, I hope you found this tip helpful. For thousands of other InDesign tips and articles, please visit InDesignSecrets.com. And be sure to sign up for our free weekly InDesign email. Thanks for learning with us.